Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. So in the previous video, we had discussed about the uh, some five questions, five interview questions that were asked. That was just beginner session. So in today's video, also we'll be covering uh, the beginner session. I mean beginner questions. So the next five set of questions are ready to be solved. So let's move on to today's video without any delay. And I request you to please subscribe to my channel and also click on the like button and bell icon and do comment in the comment section how useful this video was for you. Do share this with your friends too because you know everyone must, must be preparing for the interviews and it would be really helpful. What I suggest is go with these questions at first and then go to the complex ones because in the complex ones you'll obviously encounter at least one of these questions as a sub part, sub module. Okay, so let's move on to the next question which is uh, in the last what we discussed till the first and last number of a list should be same that is what we discussed in the previous video. In this video we'll discuss display numbers divisible by 5 from a list. So that is what we need. So let's move to the spider and I've opened a very fresh one. Okay, so LST, we are giving a list. Okay, tell me what the numbers should be. Something like 0, 1, 2, uh, okay, fine, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is a list and let me also give some numbers which are divisible by 5, which is 10, which is 15, which is 20, and 21. Okay, that's that, that's a 21, that's a cheeky one. Okay, now let's check if, uh, I mean, for i in list, we need to check each list, right? So if i percentage, percentage in the sense modulo, modulo in the sense we are taking the reminder. We're getting the reminder as the value we'll get the reminder as the value so so the first index value which is zero that needs to be indexed with five and if it is equal to zero should i just ignore zero here because you know zero is neither divisible by anything okay so i'll just remove that zero and if the reminder is zero that means it is divisible by five right so if it is zero then print Let's do some concatenation. Okay, I hope I have did the concatenation right. Let's check it, okay? Unsupported operand type for plus intense string, yeah. So we need the string, right? string of five we need to print it as a string let's see if this works this should work uh oh let's give a space that will look neat so five is divisible by five ten is divisible by five fifteen is divisible by five and twenty is divisible by five so successfully we have printed it and that's all for this question okay so coming to the next question which is return the count of a given substring from a string very simple question it is what it would seem to be a difficult one and paste it here and I shall give it a comment tag and coming to the uh, in this case let me just explain you how the input should be and how the output should be because the above questions were easier to understand just by the sentence but I think I don't think this is very easier to understand so let me give the string okay so the input would be a string which is Anjali is a uh oh is a de developer okay anjali is also an author okay so this is what which has been written so we need to check the substrings count that is if i'm giving a substring let's give the substring as the substring here is uh, Anjali. I need to check how many times Anjali is present in that particular string. So here it is 2. The, so the expected output is expected output is 2. 2 times Anjali is printing, right? You can even print the index if you need. So that all depends on the question, okay? So let's give a string. 
string is equal to Anjali. Now moving on to the substring. Substring is uh, Anjali. Uh oh, our substring needs our main string needs to be the entire form, right? Anjali is a developer. Anjali is also an author. Okay. So substring uh, is Anjali here. Now we need to check if this is repeating how many times it is being repeated, right? So print single statement um, string dot count of substring. Do you know that this will result the number of times the substring is being repeated? And this is a very simple format and that is why I love strings in this case because you know it's very easy so do it is maybe you would love to check once again so Anjali dance as well okay so yeah Anjali is printed print is being printed three times you can even give this as you don't even need to give the substring you can take it from the user like as it is being passed passed as parameter or it is being taken from the console whatever it is you can experiment using the statements right so you just have to check the number of times the substring is being printed so coming to the next question which is we need to print this following pattern so it's only till 5 we shall try to print till 7 or 10 something like that so let me just show a jam board okay let's open a jam board this is one one two two i'm very bad at drawing i guess here right isn't it so this needs to be a one this is to be two and yeah three and three i'm very bad at this jam board okay so please do forgive me for that this is what we need to print so four times okay isn't there a small one highlighter and brush marker is there so this first one this is the first which we need to print then we also have five 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 times one is printed once two is printed twice three is printed thrice four is printed four times so that is how we need to print okay so how can we print this that is it should be in this format uh, uh this was supposed to be a straight line okay Ten. okay so there should not be even a drop right we'll, we'll just delete it so there's a straight line this is a straight line assume it is a straight line okay so i'm very bad at it is there no other way to draw this okay so this is the way this is a straight line this is a straight non-straight line isn't there an x this is somewhat straight oh god that's correct Okay, so this is a straight line. We need to print in this way, right? It should be in that way. Let's try to print it. So, let's take the question first. Hope you know. Just in the meanwhile, I copy. Just try to recall how we have to write a multi-line comment. How should we be writing? Every time will you put the hash symbol? No, right? So, just give three one, three things. If you want to differentiate, uh, see if when I close it, if if you want to see when I close it, it is it just being closed or when I print, type again, is it again, like if it is, see, see if it is green there, that means it is a comment, okay, or a string. So because you can see string is also in green color. It's a comment because it has been written with this. So if I close it, it closes here. The next lines won't be a comment. So I'll show you if by removing even that if the below ones are covered or not. I'll just show you. Mm, it's better not to explain so much. I'll just show you. Okay. So we need to print the following pattern. So for i in uh, num. For i in range of. Let's check that before that i'll just show you just removing these four so this also came under the comment so we're just closing it, okay so that was a sample now let's work out 
the question so for i in a range not i let's take something else for num in range of 0 comma 10 okay we don't need 0 right just let's just ignore 0 it's 1 comma 10 for i in a range of num print num comma end equals to we just need to give space end equals to shows that we need to give space or not i'll differentiate it okay so we need to print each each and everything in a different line hope you uh, so hope you even know that we can even remove the 10 and it, it is the same that the other way too because it or default takes the value 10 that is 0 to 10 so or let that be there right zero can be zero for i in range there is a wrong missing oh it's in in is missing here so let's print this uh oh uh, why am i so bad at it i'm just very bad at this backslash no matter how many time i try i forget it so one is printed once two is printed twice so it's neat and perfect right you wanted to know why do we place this end without end let's see how this looks i'm just okay i'll just show it to a range of five with end because you know see that's not easy to view just need to scroll here and there so this is i mean where is it i went to the history so one till four it is printing because range of 5 in the sense prints only till that that is 0 to 4 that is what range of 5 means so we are removing this end and trying this is how it will look and this is not the expected ones because every time it prints the num or default this print takes num and prints it in the next line so next line is the default thing in print so when we give end equals to with a space it takes in that way if you do not give space let's see what will happen it will not be printed with space so just the spaces are missing right just the spaces that's it here there is no need of space so that is all about this question okay so coming to the next one which is check palindrome number yeah check if a number is palindrome or not We'll just type it that question doesn't look good so i took these questions from check if a number is palindrome from the interview questions uh, section that is uh, there are many websites which were suggested to us by our college so during our college times so we i had a copy of it i made few questions on my own so all those mixed up mixed up questions were there there is a bundle of questions with me uh, the printed papers so from that i took these questions so there might be a mistake i just give i just give the random question there okay check if a number is palindrome or not okay now we need to check if a number is palindrome or not what is a palindrome you need to know these names okay anagram palindrome all these kind of stuffs so the input you give might be the famous palindrome is mom right so the famous palindrome is mom the output should be true or you should print that it is a palindrome checking that the word if it's read from first to last and then in the reverse order it should be the same it should the output should be the same so what should be the output true or we can print palindrome okay let's just check it output can be anything right that doesn't matter so i mean correct output should be should be there you can print it in any way so we need to give a string let's take it from the user okay so what we now uh, before that let me clear the console because if i don't clear the string is already there let's not mess it up and let me not get confused myself 
because in the variable explorer the, the string would be replaced and the substring would be different then I might cut, get confused at times I while think why did I do that so let's go with this and string we need to check if the string is a palindrome or not so if string is equal to equal to uh, you need to print the reverse of a string right string of is to is to minus one this is the best way to print the reverse of a string so print it so palindrome you know it's really difficult to switch keyboards and you know currently I'm using this laptop keyboard and this laptop has control at some places so it's not easy to switch between keyboards regularly it's not a palindrome okay why am i just printing it as plain drum palindrome okay palindrome now let's execute line by line or do you want me to execute in this way let's execute the entire one this should work else let us try a different way so what do you want to give let's give m o m it's a palindrome let's run this again mm, do you even know that malayalam that is even a palindrome if it's red vice versa that's a palindrome and let's give anjali it's never, be, it's never a palindrome so it's not a palindrome so hope this is clear hope these sections are pretty easier to understand now let's move on to the next question so the next question is create a new list from two lists using the following condition that is given two lists of numbers okay two lists of numbers are given write a program to create a new list such that the new list should contain odd numbers from the first list and even numbers from the second list this looks quite easy right let's not take the first set let's just take this question and place it in a, and place it in a new one so it's a multi-line comment not using this multi-line comment as of now or else let's just go with this multi-line comment because it wouldn't be good to give right as I said this one multiple number of times okay so we are giving to a list list 1 equals to what should we give 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 so wow they said the new list should contain odd numbers from the first list there are not even a single odd number from in this list so let's make this uh, let's get only till 30 and then we'll give uh, 31 21 11 okay all the odd numbers have been given list 2 is equal to we'll give some um, as copied I copied it from above okay so let's give some odd numbers to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 I don't need to I just need 3 5 7 9 okay and I'll just remove these three okay it will be so confusing I think the number is not matching but still let's try okay given to list write a program to create a new list we are gonna create a new list that is we'll give it as list 3 equals to giving a blank this empty list okay we need to append into it so if list one of i for that we need to have a for loop for i in list one if then you need not give this if i percentage 2 is equal to equal to 0 then let's give it in some random variable a equals to 
or let's just directly append it right list three dot append of i okay now if it is not that is in list one okay list one should contain odd numbers right so we need to give this as unequals to okay and even numbers from the second list for i in list two let me check if this works if this works i'll explain okay just a second i percentage i'll just explain the process as of now this is we're just checking if this is a odd number or uh this should work i guess because you know you, know, you are checking both odd numbers and even numbers and you are here you are checking uh -oh. so yeah you are checking this uh, five in the in the list one if it is uh, odd or not i mean yeah odd or not and in this year in the second list you are checking if it is even or not okay so let's execute for this to first okay so yeah done uh, string is already there right shall i remove it okay we don't need that as of now we'll just even execute this okay now we need to execute this okay so what came in list 3 31 21 and 11 this also needs to be executed the remaining 40 50 60 were printed because those are the only numbers now when we print the entire thing you'll get the output as 31 21 11 40 50 60 these are the numbers which we are expecting that is from the first list we are expecting the odd numbers yeah odd numbers and from the second list we are expecting the even numbers i just got confused because i thought it's it took it printed 10 20 30 in the first but it printed correctly it printed 31 21 11 and from the second list it should have printed even numbers so it printed 40 50 60 got it so that's all about that question and hope you are clear with all these questions even the part one questions and this part two questions all i think somewhat advanced concept concepts were covered today in this um, part so hope all the questions were clear if you have any doubts please post in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the like button and bell icon and do share this with your friends too and let's see in the next video till then take care bye bye